I've been reading a new manga by the author of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and honestly, I'm really invested. I'm four chapters in, the manga is called Yomi no Sugai, and the English name is Demons of the Shadow Realm. Now, I know the name sounds a little weird, but I promise you it's pretty good. So the story falls around our main character, Yuru, who is a boy who lives in a remote mountain village. This village is cut off from the rest of the world. Yuru also has a twin sister, and these twins are kind of like prophesized in a sense. They're known as the children who sunder night and day and literally at the very start of the manga it says that they will command the daemons. I don't know if they're called demons or daemons anyways I'm just gonna call them daemons for the sake of this video. The daemons are these creatures these spirits that people cannot see and they always also come in a pair for some reason and there's people known as seers who are able to command a pair of daemons for example an, our main character has a pair of daemons uh, known as right and left. It also seems like they come in many different shapes and sizes with their own unique abilities. They're kind of like stands in the sense, so I really do like them. And I'm kind of hoping they play out like stands as well. Like, I hope they're more tactical. Like, for example, let's say you're fighting a daemon that has a keen sense of smell. You got to figure out a way to deal with that and be a little bit smart and tactical. So let me explain more of the story. In the beginning of the story, Yuru actually lives in this mountain village. And mind you, this village is cut off from the rest of society. It's cut off from the rest of Japan, modern day Japan. Yuru and his sister, who is locked up for some odd reason, have been living in this village since they were children. However, one day a girl breaks into this village and she starts attacking the people and she's claiming that she wants her brother back. This girl ends up being the real twin sister of Yuru and the girl that he believed was his sister was a doppelganger made there by the village elder it seems. Now this is one of those stories where you're not going to get all the exposition right in the beginning. You're going to progress through the story and learn more about the story. The girl's name is Asa. Now this is a shonen manga but it is quite brutal in the very first chapter there's this one seer who has this pair of teeth and she's using her daemons to literally chop down on people so you find out more as to why asa is doing what she's doing why she's attacking the village later on in the story as you progress and i can't go into too much detail because there are spoilers and, I, and i'm not even that far in so i don't know everything i'm only four chapters in currently but i have been enjoying it and these are like monthly chapters as i said they're a little bit longer than your weekly chapters so reading a chapter of this is longer than reading a chapter of one piece but they're really easy to get through there's not a lot of text like i i usually don't like manga with a lot of text and a lot of dialogue because one thing about manga is it's a visual medium i'm not reading a novel here speaking of the visuals i really like the art from this author i even liked arakawa's work in full metal alchemist she she's a really talented author now for some reason it seems like the first chapter came out a year ago however for some reason i haven't really heard much about it until now like i've seen a lot of people buying the volumes maybe because the volume was released and maybe people could buy it now so maybe that's why it's gotten a little bit more popular as of recently it definitely does remind me a lot of full metal alchemist brotherhood there's a lot of similarities between the two and i'm guessing there's a lot of darker moments to come because i've watched full metal alchemist brotherhood and i know how this author is um in full metal alchemist brotherhood if you've watched it Yes, it seems lighthearted at times, but we also, we always know that there's a darker spectrum to the world. And it, this seems very similar to that. And I really love that. I get it. It's a shonen manga, but you can be dark in a shonen manga. It's been done before. Chainsaw Man does it. A lot of manga do it. One thing I would say so far is I'm not really invested into the main character as of yet. Uh, I do want to learn more about this main character, Yuru. We don't know everything about his story yet. And I'm, I'm glad we weren't given everything right from the get-go. I do want to learn this character as I progress through the manga and as I read chapters, I want to learn more about him. I'm honestly more interested in his sister. I feel like his sister has more of a, a compelling backstory. Like she even has like a missing eye for some reason. Uh, I don't really know what's going on with that. I'm literally going to finish making this video and then go back to reading it because I'm kind of invested right now and kind of addicted to reading it. The problem is I just don't have the time on my hand to just sit through and binge it all. So it's going to take me a little bit to finish it. I might finish it by tomorrow. Sorry, not finish it, but catch up because the series is not complete yet and it's still coming out i believe it's monthly so i think this is a monthly release manga but so far so good i hope it does get an anime eventually but listen if you want more anime content manga recommendations make sure you subscribe turn on the post notification bell and i'll see you guys next time peace out everyone